27th Grand Prix season opened in North Africa. Mussolini had recently proclaimed his fascist empire, and Tripoli was to be his showplace, with a very fast race circuit and buildings to rival the German Nürburgring. The Tripoli Grand Prix was the fastest motor race in the world, and the state lottery made it the richest. Five Mercedes and five auto unions streaked ahead of all the Italian cars. The new W125 Mercedes not only had more power, but the great improvements in the chassis had transformed the handling. Kurzführer Adolf Hunlein was there to see that the German cars defeated the Italians. A newcomer, Hermann Lang, drove superbly to average over 134 miles an hour. This was the first major win for the X-Racing mechanic, and few wins have ever been more popular with the men on the ground. Mercedes and Auto Union had the first eight places. It was an overwhelming victory for Germany. The new Mercedes did not appear again until early in May, when a team was shipped from Europe to North Africa for the Tripoli Grand Prix. The new formula limited the supercharged engines to three liters, and the cars were heavier with a minimum weight. The new restrictions were designed to make the cars safer and to reduce the speeds. The new three liter auto unions were not yet ready. It was no small feat, shipping a Daimler-Benz racing team by boat, but no expense was spared. Hitler was out to establish his idea of closer relations with Mussolini, and the British Prime Minister had just completed a pact with it. Motor racing was becoming more and more political, and Tripoli was more important than ever as the showplace for the growing Italian Empire. Ullenhout faced all the problems of a new, almost untried design, and the African sun thinned the oil, and the heat made fuel consumption a greater problem than ever. Drivers are not always reliable guides to a car's performance, but Ullenhout had the advantage of Lang driving one of the cars. Lang was an experienced racing mechanic and was to play an important part in the development of the three-litre Mercedes. Seaman had been brought along as a frustrated reserve. In spite of the new Maseratis, Alfa Romeos, and the hideous but effective Delahays, the Mercedes shot into the lead from the start. cars were extremely thirsty 
with only one or two miles for each gallon of special fuel. Lang was the most economical of the fuel and went into the lead when Braukic made an earlier stop. Each W154 carried over a hundred gallons, and rapid refueling was essential. Lang suffered badly with the very corrosive special fuel. A wash down from a resourceful mechanic did little to help, as the fuel attacks the skin. But Lang had a three minute lead, and drove on to lap the field, and to win by five minutes. almost as fast as the old, and Lang averaged over 127 miles an hour to win. Mercedes were first, second and third. The Italian Empire in North Africa was the exotic setting for the first major Grand Prix of 1939. An Italian state lottery made the Tripoli Grand Prix one of the richest races in the world, the Corsa dei Milioni, the race of millions. For four years, German cars had dominated the event. But this year, the Italians moved the goalposts and excluded the three-litre Mercedes by limiting the engine size to one and a half litres, the engine size of many Italian racing cars. But astonishingly, in complete secrecy, Mercedes had reduced to mini Mercedes, the W165. Before Marshal Balbo's flag had fallen, the Mercedes had taken the lead, and they led the field from start to finish. The 28 Italian Alfa Romeos and Maseratis were all left struggling behind. These lovely little Mercedes never raced again, but in their first and only race, they dominated the field. Lang led from the start, and when Caracciola took second place after five laps, the race was virtually over. Lang was less than five miles an hour slower than in the bigger car in the previous year. It was an astonishing triumph in every way. 